In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to achieve a color splash effect using Pixlr Photo Editor. The very first step after you've opened your new picture is to go to the Layer tab and open your image as a layer. Now the image I've selected is uh, taken from Lady Heart, uh, who is a contributor to morgfile.com and she contributed this picture as uh, a public domain stock photograph. Uh, I've chosen this picture because it has a lot of bright colors uh, and basically what a color splash is is an effect where you accentuate uh, colors or draw attention to a portion of a photo by contrasting uh, that part of the photo in color against a black and white background. So this is a very colorful picture and I believe will be a very good example of this effect. So now once I've opened this as my bottom layer, I want to go up here to the Layer tab again and I want to duplicate this layer. So if you look over here in the Layer box, uh, basically I have two duplicate layers laying one on top of the other. So with this upper layer selected, I come up here to Adjustment and I want to desaturate this top layer. In other words, I want to make it black and white. Uh, the next step is to come over here to the tools and select the eraser tool. Now to achieve your color splash effect, uh, all that you're doing is erasing uh, the top black and white layer, revealing the color layer beneath. So what I want to do for this picture, for this demonstration, is I want to erase very carefully the black and white upper layer and I want to be very careful not to get outside of the area that I want to achieve the effect. So to do a more precise job what I can do is come over here to the navigator on this bar and I can zoom in on the area that I want to work with and I can come up here to my brush tool and I can shrink down the size of my brush and let's bring it down to about a 20. I'm going to left click away from it, come back to the screen. So I'm very careful not to erase an area that might reveal this green grass on the other side. I want that grass and that surrounding area to remain black and white. So I'm just going to hold down left click is how you use the eraser tool and I'm going to very carefully erase all of the black and, black and white layer that's over my color layer. Come down here I'm being very careful not to get outside my lines. Now conceptually speaking, this is a fairly simple process, but you should be should do it with some patience. It does take some patience, some care. Scroll over to my other pink flower. Take the black and white off of these petals. Almost done here. I was the type of kid in kindergarten had a very tough time staying within the lines. I think I'm doing okay here. Once I've done enough work and see I've messed up that part there, I probably want to go back and reverse that. I go to edit and undo and reverse it, but I can zoom back out and now look at my work so far. It's a very nice color splash effect. You see I have my upper black and white layer and I've erased it and below uh, revealing 
the color layer. It's a very, very nice effect. So that's basically the process for completing a color splash uh, on Pixlr.com.